Hello guys, uh, I'm here and I'm late with my Pinterest inspired project that I do the collaborations with the Scrappy Bookworm one here on YouTube and I will post the link to her channel. You um, may remember, may not remember that her and I, um, this is our second one since we started again, um, but we used to do the Pinterest inspired collaboration projects um, last year and things got busy, life got in the way, things happen and illness, you know, things, just things happen. So anyway, the Pinterest inspired collaboration is a desktop post-it note holder. And this is mine. It is exactly the same everything. I had this made last week and it sh I should have posted it last week, but you know, stuff happens. Um, this is exactly the same as the Scrappy Bookworm one, except for my post-it note holder is not as deep. She made hers fairly deep. Mine can only hold two, hers can hold four. Um, let me get it out so I can show you. And the bottom is not finished. And another thing is I didn't cut this deep enough, this uh, thumb thing to get the post-its out. So unless I had it too high, it would be hard to get this one out. So the thing of it is, is I cut the whole uh, thumb pull thing before I realized I glued the box together before and, and then I had to cut that part out. So here we are, live and learn. But um, this is the Pinterest inspired um, project that I had made and it can sit right up on your desk be good for teachers um, church craft shows uh, little gifts that you maybe give to someone who is in an office or secretary things like that might be a cute little thing to give to them to add on. Um, mine actually, if I can, we'll see. Mine opens so that you can actually put a little calendar down here if you wanted to, and it opens with Velcro. So that is one of the differences. Um, but this is how mine turned out. And I also made some, let me reach to get them. Sorry. Uh, yeah, cause I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit um, unprepared. So then I also made some um, like, matchbook ones that you can post, uh, pull out and put these in your purse or wherever so that they don't get damaged and they all have Velcro and they pull down this way. So I made those and I made several of these. Um, so I made all of these. Once I started making post-it note, the post-it note holder, I thought, okay, well, I don't want to make 
you know, 10 post-it note holder. So what else can I do? And I came up with my own idea. I didn't follow any tutorial or find anything on Pinterest. I just thought, how could I cover the pad and still be able to um, access it and make it look pretty. So this was my idea. So that's what I came up with, that. that. And then I got those, um, these come three to a pack, um, whatever the spiral ring thing is. And then it is a flip up note pad. So, um, I made six of these. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing any, uh, craft shows this year, but I have a lot of notepads that I make and I think um, I'm just gonna start uh, giving them away in some birthday gifts and some happy mail and happy mail swaps. I'm just gonna start adding them to the uh, swaps in the in the gift bags and what you know whatever else so that then um i can get rid of some of them so and if i were to sell these i think i would do them too two for three dollars i think um and probably put a pen with them i don't have the little pens at the moment uh so and i would package these up but that, right now i'm not sure how i would do it or i could do two notepads and two post-it notes as a uh, little kit to give out um as gifts or something along those lines anyway this was my pinterest inspired project and go over and check out the scrappy bookworm if you haven't already and subscribe thumbs up and um i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching